Hi, hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and show you slash give you guys my uh, tier 16 juicing strategy for Path of Exile 3.17. This is specifically for my Righteous Fire character, but of course you could do this with anything. Uh, I also want to emphasize that I try to do minimal trading because trading is not the part of the game that I enjoy. So with that being said, I'm going to go jump into a map and talk about a little bit of stuff. So I've got tier 16 port over here. Uh, along with a polished divination card scarab for divs. I've got ambush scarab for strong boxes. I've got reliquary, which is a meme because I asked my friend to buy some scarabs and he didn't realize that there's different types of polished scarabs. So this should be probably replaced with like metamorph or legion, depending on what you want for density, I think. And then I've got three polished harby. Uh, on top of that, I also do fortune favors the brave. So this is currently my Atlas setup. I'm just going to go through a quick rundown very fast. I started here, grabbed all Strongbox nodes, uh, came up, grabbed all Shrine nodes, moved across, came down here. I don't really care too much for the shaping the skies, but the chance at monstrous, monstrous treasure is kind of what's keeping me um, from respecting it. Coming over here, grabbed full Harby, uh, went up over here, grabbed full Harby again, moved across for map sustain. I might respect this later when I have more maps, but for now, like, this is sustaining me no problem. Came up, grabbed more strongbox nodes, came up. I just recently grabbed Ruckus. I've never actually tried this, so this is basically just a chance at adding more density. I think it's probably some of the best five-pointers I could get, but I'm not sure. Came across, grabbed full Harby, uh, grabbed both of the shrine nodes, went up. This is my personal favorite here, which is the full lockbox strat. Um, so basically, all my strongboxes are going to be corrupted, rare, with it and then basically give double loot whether it's a uh, currency map items or div cards so this allows me to sustain my horizons chisels and everything else uh moving upward i grabbed shrine coming across i grabbed sextant uh, so i don't have to worry about sextants i'm completely self-sustaining sextants i come down and grab this entire cluster here uh basically for eater of worlds i don't know if i like this very much but this is really good this one specifically yeah, this here is super good. This, I guess, yeah, this is not too bad. Moving across, coming down, I grabbed all of Rampant Growth, mainly for density here. And then, I don't know if I like this, but double map boss is not too bad, uh, especially for map sustain and guardian maps. Normally, I would respect the exile spot here when I'm running my conqueror maps. But when I'm farming, I just have conquered conquerors to increase the chance at conqueror maps. And then I have the full bossing set up here. Uh, for extra map sustain all right with that being said uh let's go ahead and jump into a map so i've got a vault port map over here and of course uh fortune favors the brave because this node here makes it so you get 10 percent quantity 10 percent pack size and 10 percent rarity uh for fortune favors the brave uh, i don't do any of this because i don't really care about it and then of course i do put on eater of worlds So the, the divination cards that drop out of here are basically the... There's one for every 10 div cards you find of it, you can claim to exalt. I think I farmed like 14 of them yesterday. Maybe 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 12, so it's quite a bit. You can also delirium, but I personally feel like the delirium doesn't add enough for me. Uh, for the price, I feel like if I wanted to do Delirium, I would want to spec into Delirium nodes. It's not that the build can't handle it, I can handle it no problem. It's that the value I get out of Delirium did not really feel worth it versus the currency. Plus, then I would also have to buy, um, I would have to buy, uh, Delirium orbs, which I don't feel like doing. Alright, here we're gonna do one basic currency. I think there's virtually no chance that I die in these maps with the exception of running into a divine shrine where mobs are immune and dropping to like one FPS and not being able to click it. Or sometimes there are like these little boats like here. You can get hit with a... Actually, this is not a good example because that actually connects. But sometimes you get like these weird little boats like this and they'll you won't notice because there's like bears on them. So you'll shield charge through and then there's like a bunch of bears all over you. If you react fast enough, you're fine. But if you're like reading chat all the time like me, then that's pretty much your only time that you die. Um, maybe slight exception on the map boss if you make it way too juiced, but 
That's never happened to me yet. I also want to emphasize that this is not like an amazing currency strat. This is just what I'm doing. So I'm going to go with uh, basic currency because I don't really care about implicits. Uh, this is currency duplicate. Uh, I'm going to do currency duplicate. Uh, what is this? I already did that one, right? Yeah. Oh, Lucky Connections. That's the other one. That's one out of seven for Fusing Orbs. Oh, this is Doriani. Is this worth anything? That's 80 Chaos. Oh, cool. Nice, dude. King Harby. Yep. Oh, I guess detonate dead boxes would be the other thing that could potentially kill your character. I must have time to gather my will. For the remaining mobs then. There we go. Oh, double lucky connections. I'll be taking that. Actually got to change those on my filters so they look a little more obvious. This one didn't, didn't seem to be super juiced. I've had significantly more juiced ones. Especially when you get like a lot more strong boxes or... You get a chance at double strong box, so there's a lot of different things. But that's what I like about this is it's not super expensive, so, you know, you feel like you're getting really unlucky. You're not really spending a lot. And then I'll be working on the League Mechanic a little bit later. I think today on stream we're going to mess around with the League Mechanic finally. So we're going to do uh, this one over here for chance at dupe currency. I think yesterday we actually, me and my buddy, uh, we were just farming this. He's just playing a Captain Lance Max Block Spark build. But uh, I think we got four Exalt farming here, like four pure Exalt, or it was three. Actually, I'm pretty sure it was four pure, because I popped an Arcanus box, and I think this one doubled the currency, and I actually got two Exalts out of it. That'll probably be in the stream clips highlights. I think this is another side boat over here. Yeah, it is. Uh, let's go with... These are both awful, so... Just click them for extra density. There's also not too bad of experience. I'm 97, almost 98 from doing this as well. Definitely far from the best for experience, but not too bad. Cloister. That's 10c. Not too bad. I'll just snag that. And then I don't really care about anything else here. I'm pretty sure these are all like pretty poo poo. Storm treasures. Yeah, these are all awful. Re roll and zag decks. Oh, void. Void's kind of cool. What's this? Ion's Fury. Base Breaker too implicit. Nope. I'll just take this one and a stack deck. Must have time uh, to let's my do this. Will. Oh, there was actually one thing I did forget to do. I forgot to put sextants on, so that's why it's not as juice. That was 
That was a mistake on my part. I just woke up. My apologies. I think this actually doubled the map boss from the passive points on the tree. And when rolling sextants, I'm pretty much just looking for extra density for the most part. That's about it. If you get something really like worth a lot, you can always itemize it with the new Surveyor's Compass, I think it's called. So that's kind of cool. And then the last thing I want to cover is basically sustaining the maps. So if you are super unlucky and you have terrible map sustain, right? You will still be getting tier 16 map drops. They just probably won't be on your favorite, right? So to fix that, what we do is um, I go over here and I check my tier 16 and I pull out all maps that I don't care about, right? So carcass, city squares is corrupted. If it's corrupted, it will not work. Coral ruins. Every Temple, Curse Crypt, Ricey. That's corrupted. Okay, next up, identify all of them. I don't know if you need to scour them, but I'm just going to scour them anyway. That one's corrupted. Okay, second off, Orb of Horizons. You should, for the most part, self-sustain this. You can throw all of these into a tab like this. Type in Port. And this is basically the way Orb of Horizons work. If you were to take out your watchstones here, right? Whatever maps are left as tier 16 are considered natural. So if you type in tier 16 here, there's only four natural maps. Ashenwood, Crimson Temple, Dungeon, and Port. So since Port is a natural map, that means that when I use Orb of Horizon, there's only four outcomes you can get. And since you can't get the same one, there's only three outcomes. So you type in Port, you go down the list, Pull them out. Back again. There we go. So the only thing I really have to buy are my scarabs, and I don't even have to buy them that often. I sustain my maps. I sustain my chisels. Uh, I sustain my sextants. Um, and yeah, it's pretty fun. I, I really have been enjoying it. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Um, don't forget, if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. And just to show you guys an example of the sextants that I uh, would roll. So um, this is Rogue Exiles. I don't really care about that. So that I would re-roll because that's not worth anything. This says six additional packs of mobs. So that's good. Uh, this says possessed mobs drop scarabs. I would itemize that. I think it's worth something. I don't know if Mysterious Barrels are worth it. I'm going to reroll the Exiles. This is six packs of monsters, so we're going to keep that. Uh, just to show you how the Surveyor's Compass works, you can buy this from Kirak for one Chaos. So I'm going to go ahead and just open up my Atlas. Oops, there we go. Use this on the uh, Possessed Monsters, so that would be right here. Then I'll just turn on this so you guys can see. I'll just price check it, and that is worth not really anything so that's not i mean if you want to make a two chaos sale you can i'm just going to put it here for 4c if it sells it does if it doesn't it doesn't and let's roll that one again so boom 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 and boom it's off i don't know if that's worth something so that's again you know i can just check for 1c i'll just buy a few of these right so we're going to itemize you i feel like there's no way that's worth anything but let's check no that's literally not worth anything Okay, and we can check if Mysterious Barrels are... Oh, you know, I... Oops, I just went backwards there. Well, that's fine. That doesn't really matter. Increased Duration of Shrine with Gloom. Uh, Vault. I don't really care about the Gloom because I don't know if the Gloom adds density. So, Gloom should definitely sell. Gloom is clear speed. Okay, not really. It's only 5C. And then one more, and we got Chaos. So, bam. That's six mobs, six mobs, six... Well, six packs of mobs. And that's pretty much my juicing strategy. So, hope you guys liked it. Don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash box. Uh, if you guys want the path of building, don't forget to use the RF command in my channel. Uh, I'll also try to link the document for you guys down below. Take care. Have a wonderful time, everybody.